My name is Jeff Suhu and I work at the University of Colorado and Denver Health Medical Center in Colorado. First of all, I'm thrilled to be invited to speak at the first annual Glaucoma Patient Summit. Uh, my topic today is the role of diet and exercise in glaucoma. So unfortunately, there's not a lot of great research that specifically delineates what the role of diet and exercise is in glaucoma treatment, management, or progression. Like many things, having a balanced diet and being aerobically fit is good for your overall health, and it stands to reason that it's also probably good for glaucoma. One of the issues with glaucoma is that it's an optic neuropathy, so optic nerve cells are dying. And nobody understands exactly why that happens, but there's probably a role for nutrients and blood flow to the optic nerve. Since aerobic fitness is good for blood flow to other parts of your body, it's also good for blood flow to your optic nerve. I think there's a lot of benefits for patients for coming to a summit like this. It's a great networking opportunity. I think the community of glaucoma patients, while large, there's not a lot of venues for people to get together and share their experiences. I think the other really nice thing is it's connecting patients, researchers, and providers in a way that allows for more of a dialogue and more of a conversation. So even before I showed up today, I got to see some questions that patients wanted addressed in our presentation. It allows me to kind of tailor my approach to really provide information that people want. It also allows me as a researcher and clinician to start thinking about problems maybe in a different way. I think events like this are important because they kind of show what else is out there. They bring kind of a larger picture to you know, someone's personal chronic disease. I think as a glaucoma patient, you might even feel isolated, especially if you have advanced disease, you might not have a lot of friends that have glaucoma, whereby all of your friends might have cataracts, for instance. Um, so bringing together people that have different kinds of glaucoma, people that have had different degrees of visual impairment from glaucoma, and then connecting them with researchers and educators to share ideas and share information.